With cuts to performing arts in public schools, future musicians could be left without a place to hone their skills. People have been brought in who understand economics, but they don't understand the power of the arts. Music has always been associated with the sciences. From the medieval university, the quadrivium included music with arithmetic, astronomy, and geometry. Because not of its aesthetic value, but because of its mathematical structures. You can teach literacy through music, vocal music. You sing words. If the words are properly constructed in sentences, then children get a sense of what it's like to speak a proper sentence. Um, mathematics is represented in basic ways because of the, the uh, rhythmic meters that music is constructed uh, around, the, the mathematical skeleton, so to speak. You can teach anything through vocal music. You can teach history, uh, whatever. Not many students that I know are very interested in math or science. They're not very excited to go to that class, but people on the other hand are excited to go to classes like band or choir. Many Motown artists studied music education in Detroit public schools. What happens to the students when these programs are cut? The goal of a public school music program is n not always necessarily churn out professional musicians. The same way that you need to be educated on how to balance a checkbook, you need to understand the effects that music can have on you. I mean, you know, advertising and music is a huge industry because it has real psychological effects on children, on teens, on adults. And part of a music education is developing the artistic know-how to know what these forces are. Students who want to be economists and doctors are missing out on a crucial piece of their education as basic human beings. Jason Hartless reporting for PBS NewsHour, Student Reporting Labs.